Hey everyone, this is Kunal from Digit and uh, today we have the first octa-core equipped smartphone from uh, HTC, the Desire 616. Uh, now this runs on a 1.4 uh, GHz uh, octa-core processor, which is a MediaTek uh, SoC. There's 1 GB of RAM and uh, 4 GB of internal memory, which can be expanded with the memory card slot. Uh, there is an 8 megapixel camera at the back with an LED flash and also a 2 megapixel camera in the front. And you get a 5 inch 720p display. This is an IPS panel and it looks pretty good. Although we think, you know, uh, the glass over uh, the display could have been better, as if you know, it carries a lot of fingerprints and you know, smart disk. Even the back, as you can see, uh, the handset reminds us of the HTC Desire 816. And it has a very, very glossy back, you know, it, it's prone to a lot of fingerprints and smudges, or if you have a little sweaty palms, you know, you'll get a lot of smudges at the back. Overall, the design doesn't look all that bad. Uh, this, this does have you know, an all plastic body, but uh, fairly, you know, for a 17,000 rupee phone, it doesn't look all that bad. If we go by the, you know, the design, you can see the volume and the power button are at the same place. Uh, the 3.5 mm audio jack is on the top and the micro USB and a micro, uh, the microphone port. So pretty standard design, nothing, you know, out of the ordinary. You don't have uh, capacitive touch screens or, and you know, you have your usual touch screen, uh, on screen buttons for Android navigation, which is, you know, nice to have. Although uh, this device is running on an older version, uh, I think it's 4.2, as you can see. So it's still running on Jelly Bean, but uh, overall the performance of the smartphone is quite smooth. Now, FTC says that they have put the FTC Sense 5.5 on this, but although it looks like a very, very stripped out version of uh, Sense, because you don't get a lot of features. I mean, I can't find a lot of features which you've seen on high-end uh, HTC Sense 6 or Sense 5.5 devices. Like you get a very standard lock screen, which is, you know, very stock Android. Also, you do get Blink Field and uh, it is the updated version, so you can add a number of you know, feeds onto it. So uh, this is nice to see to have, you know, Blink Field on, uh, even on the low end or in the mid middle, middle range devices from HTC. And uh, the rest, everything looks very standard. Uh, yes, we do have the uh, scrolling of up and down of the menu rather than left to right. And uh, the notification uh, toggles, as you can see, are very, very standard stock uh, Android UI. So not a lot of sense UI on this. And, you know, it's more of a stock with a slight addition of HTC software on it. But overall, we think it's a pretty smooth handset. Although we do have to do a bit of performance tests, battery tests, and so on. So uh, do wait for our review. A full-on uh, review is on the way. But uh, overall, first impressions, we think it's a pretty good phone from HTC and quite uh, you know, good looking and quite worth the money.